Hey guys, welcome to a new video. So you're looking to do a project which involves LEDs and online on AliExpress, for instance, you see these, uh, let's see if it does it. Yeah, LED power supplies. Well, that seems perfect. This is a power supply meant for LEDs. Well, in this video, I'll show you not to buy those. Right, so I'll get right to it. This video will be sort of a summary of two live streams I did in 2024, where I bought a bunch of power supplies from AliExpress, especially if they said LED power supply, LED power supply, LED power supply, LED power supply, or even this one says high-end power supply. Oh. Um, and I've tested these all in a live stream or two live streams. I'll link those down below. And well, basically none of the models here on the table do what they're rated for. So in this video, I'll show you some uh, of the clips for each of the power supply where you can see that most of these, although they say 12 and a half amps output, they generally don't even make it above four amps and then they start dropping their voltage. Now, what the, does that do? If you have a constant voltage LED strip connected, especially an analog strip, uh, it's done with resistors, etc. If you start dropping the voltage, the amount of amps or current the LED strip will ask from your power supply also goes down because that's directly linked. So although this one says 24 volts with 12.5 amps, it can only deliver four. So what it does, if you try and draw more than four amps, it'll start lowering the voltage until like, uh, I don't know, 18 volts or something like that, where it can deliver 18 volts with four amps. Because that's actually the maximum it can do. It can't do anywhere near the 300 watts. It can only do 100 watts. But if you don't know this and you think this is the brightness of the LED strip you bought, hey, they got away with it. If you then take this power supply away, do proper power injection and stuff like that, and hook up a meanwhile, suddenly the strip is three times as bright. <laughs> but as I said, if you don't know that, well, you'll never know, so they got away with it. So let's quickly have a look at a sections cut out from that live stream for each of these power supplies, and then we'll get back with it. We're testing Chinese power supplies. This is a 300 watt power supply that says that will do uh, 12.5 amps, but can't deliver more than four and a half. Look, look, 4.6, 4.7. .6, 4 oh, wonky. <laughs> nope, nope. That, that's weird. Earth, live neutral. Live on the outside, neutral earth. Earth, neutral live, not live in the middle. Earth, neutral live, not live in the middle. Earth, no. Earth, neutral live, not live in the middle. Live in the middle. Well, um, that's going to be interesting. <laughs> I don't know about that. Are we going to guess that's a misprint, or did they act do act do they actually mean live in the middle? We're going to do live in the middle. That's what it says. Five amps is okay. Six amps. Six amps is okay. Seven amps. Uh, seven amps is not okay. We 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 lost some volts there. Eight amps. Oh. <laughs> Eight amps, not okay. Nine amps, not no no okay. Nine amps is crash mode. So that's probably why they say this is only for LEDs, because if the LEDs draw too much current, it just starts delivering a lower voltage, by which they start asking less current, and thus it auto regulates to what the power supply can deliver. <laughs> 
So you, you buy the tiniest power supply on AliExpress that says 300 watts. It's 300, it says it right here, 300 watts. Are you going to tell me it's not 300 watts? It says it right there. Oh, this one's again reversed. So now Earth is on that, this side. These seem like smaller screws, though. Well, 4 amps is boring. 4.1. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> so, 4 amps is 23.7 volts. 4.1 amps is 23 volts. And 4.2 amps is 19 volts. It's heating up for sure. Everything's, he everything's heating up. Yeah, so basically, again, this says it's a 400 watt or 16.7 amp power supply. But it can only really do 10 to 12 amps. And let's start with this tester adding another amp. So now we're back at 6 amps. 7 amps. Okay. 8 amps. Oh, 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 oh. Uh oh. <laughs> okay, so it can't do 8 amps. It'll do uh, 7 amps. Oh, that's kind of disappointing. It was going so well! Yeah, I mean, I don't know why they wrote 12 and a half amps here, because it clearly can't. <laughs> uh, still, you know what I'm afraid of? I actually think this will be the best one. We're, we're going to test today. <laughs> I'm surprised. I, I, I figured it would have failed by now. Absolutely. 10 amps. Oh, oh, de oh, oh. It, nope. 9 amps. Nope. 8. Nope. And, uh, 7. Okay, 7, it recovers. Go to 8. Go to 9, 10. Nope, nope, 10, it's like, what are you asking me to do? 2 amp. Okay, 3 amp. 4 amp. 5 amp. Oh! <laughs> what? 4 amps. It's, it, okay, it recovered. Wow. What a shitty power supply. <laughs> 9 amp? What? 9 amps? Can we do 10 amps? Is it possible? 10 amps. It is! We're doing 10 amps on a 12.5 amp supply. What is going on? Okay, more. 11? Uh-oh. Uh oh, nope, 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 uh, nope. Well, I think from those clips it was pretty obvious none of these models should be used in your projects if you want them to perform, well, like you calculate and want them to perform, basically. You don't buy a 300 watt power supply for it only to do 100 watt. And that's, well, as I showed you in the video, how these LED power supplies work. Here's a quick clip uh, where you can see uh, me hooking up like a 150 or 200 watt LED strip to, I think, this guy. And you can see it just drops down the voltage and delivers 4 amps. 21.8 volts. That's, that's not great. So this is doing exactly what we expected. It's just lowering the voltage because it can't do more than 80 watts or whatever. So, yeah, you could see with the multimeter it dropped down the voltage. And the strip could be a lot brighter, but it isn't because your fake 300 watt power supply isn't delivering 300 watts at all. Now, there are some exceptions in the video. I believe uh, this guy came close to its 12 and a half watt amps of output. So let's say if you derate it to 50%, so you treat it like a 150 watt power supply, it might actually do okay. Uh, other than that, there is the BTF power supply that also did well. It, it did deliver its rated output capacity. So these BTF supplies, and I didn't do any scope on it and extensive tests or anything like that. 
sure. Um, but as a basic load test, this did okay. Surprised, or yeah, it's okay. For running, you know, 250 watt max LEDs, and it's a 360 watt power supply, I'm sure this will do okay. Uh, I mean, for, for, for a while. I wouldn't recommend it for 350 watt of LEDs, while the Meanwell will do that easily. Um, but for like 200, 250 watt, getting the 360 watt power supply, I think I think it'll run okay. But from those on the Discord and on the the WLED Reddit and the, the the Discord from Reddit itself, we've seen numerous reports where these power supplies go bad after one to one and a half years. Now, as I showed in the video, or don't know if it's in the video, but at least in the live stream, although it delivered the rated output capacity. It runs really hot and it's very inefficient doing so. So likely the components just get cooked over time and then it starts, you know, dropping the voltage and not really delivering the current anymore, etc. And we've seen numerous problems with that. Replacing the power supply fixes them. So I'm not sure I can recommend those. If it's a less important project, they might be okay. Otherwise, and I'll show you a clip here explaining that, the LRS and UHP model power supplies from Meanwell are excellent. So we're in the 24 volt category, right? And then for Meanwell, uh, let's we can take a quick look at two of them and we'll test one of them to have a baseline. And that is the very popular LRS series. The LRS series is very well used, very much used in the LED community because especially the LRS 350 uh, 12. It's relatively cheap. It gives you 350 watts of output and these mean wells, they're, they're pretty, you know, nice and uh, sleek and they're noisy, but they deliver a great output quality and they'll last for years and years. So they're very renowned for their quality, etc. So this is an LRS 350. And then if you want a step up and you don't want a noisy fan, you can also go to a different type uh, and that is a uh, UHP 350. So this is also a Meanwell. Um, it's basically the same wattage as the other one, but actually it's a lot smaller as you can see. It's about the same height, but the UHP line is, uh, well, a higher class line. So while this is a standard power supply, I guess you could say without power factor correction, this one does have power factor correction and it's also a lot more efficient and it's so much more efficient that they don't need the fan and it can basically uh, dissipate its own heat through the shell. So this is a very thick aluminium, aluminium shell, which is basically also heatsink. And then they have these tabs because if you're really going to run it hard, so 350 watts for like days at a time, you're supposed to put some thermal goop on here and put it on a metal plate so it can actually dissipate the heat even better. Uh, it's also halfway potted, so it's not fully potted, but as you can see, you can't really see the PCB inside, so it's half potted. Uh, that also helps with noise and PWM noises and other things. So this one is actually a silent power supply. And these, next to having the fan, of course, they just have a cheaper circuit and no potting, etc. inside. So if you have PWM noise, you're probably also going to hear it from the power supply. Now, the power they deliver, the stability, sure, the UHP will be a little bit better. It has bigger, better caps and et cetera, et cetera. Um, but for normal, normally our purposes, both, both are going to be just fine and they can handle the transients or LEDs generate, et cetera, et cetera. So yeah, meanwhile, UHP line, let's take that as a baseline. Great. The voltages haven't really sagged. Um, yeah, perfect. And while that's quite clear, it can easily deliver its output current and well, it'll basically never give up. Or at least I haven't ever had a UHP or LRS, I think, power supply die on me. Right, so this was just a quick summary and a cut up live stream, giving you a, a warning. If you see these power supplies on AliExpress or Amazon, do not 
buy them. They uh, they might seem cheap. They are. <laughs> but then again, it says 300, but it can only do 70 watts, really. And uh, especially if you want to use these for any other application, well, that's why they say LED power supply. That's because they can only work with LEDs, because if you drop the voltage there, they start drawing less current. But if you have a device that needs 12 volt and it drops to 8 volt, well, the device will just crash. So that's why they have all these warnings. Don't use with anything else than LEDs. That's because their trick then doesn't work. <laughs> right, I think that's enough warnings. I'll have some of the mean wells also on AliExpress and Amazon linked. I buy those uh, fairly regularly. Never had an issue with them. Always had genuine versions uh, in the video description. And other than that, I thank you for watching. Questions and comments are, well, yeah, questions and comments are always welcome in the comments. And uh, I hope to see you back in the next video. Bye-bye.